and everybody lived happily ever after, except for the tiniest bunny rabbit who went to prison for the rest of his life. Blimey, I didn't expect that. No. Oh. The night, little Howard. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The what? Um, nothing. <laughs> Listen, little Howard, your bed isn't a bug. It's not even a bug bed or a bed bug. It's just a bed. You've had a big, bad bed bug bed dream, but it's very late and you've got to get to sleep. Come on, in you get, in you get. Good night. Do I have to go to sleep? I do wish you wouldn't do that. News just in. We're getting reports of monster bed bugs on the streets of Purley. I love monkeys. I love monkeys. All those happy little, chirpy little monkeys with their tails and their bananas. I think that if we all were monkeys, we'd have happier manianas. Monkeys, lots of monkeys, for you know that it's the monkeys I adore. If my love said that she did not love those monkeys, I wouldn't love her anymore. Thank you very much. Um, can we do that again, please? I think I did a guff at the top of the second verse. We haven't got time to answer your big question, little Howard. No, we've got to get the FBI to seal off my bedroom and carry out a controlled explosion on my bed. No, I mean we have to go to sleep. But why? You just do. Mother, a little help here, please. Oh, would you mind taking my cucumbers off? How did... Hello, boys. What's wrong? Can't you sleep? No. Little Howard can't sleep because he's had a nightmare about giant bedbugs, and I can't sleep because Little Howard's had a nightmare about giant bedbugs. You know what helps me sleep? Extremely loud rock music! Brilliant! No! Trash metal, anyone? That sounds lovely! Oh, stop it! No, stop it! Turn it off! Turn it off! You'll wake the neighbours! Um, Big, big yeah, Howard? I, I, this is a quiet, respectable area! Look! Look what you've done! You've torn it now! Big Howard! Hello? What do you think you're doing? Shouting on the top of your voice in the middle of the night for? Oh, I'm sorry! You're still doing it! Oh, I see what you mean. Um, I'm sorry. You'll wake the whole street up with that stupid fog on mouth of yours. Well, it was my computer. She was playing really, really loud rock music. I don't mind really, really loud rock music. I mean, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it helps me get to sleep. But your shouting doesn't! All I can do is apologise, I'm really... Yeah, well, either you belt up, or I'll give you a punch up the bracket. You hear me? Sorry. I've got to be on my forklift at six o'clock in the morning. Good night. Honestly, Thank, I... Thank you. Good night. Who was that? No one. Mother, all I wanted you to do was to explain how tiny, harmless, and very, very rare bed bugs are in real life. I'll do better than that. I can tell you about bed bugs and everything that lives in your bed. As long as you don't scare them or anything. Of course not. Now, what do you think this is? Ah, it's a massive alien! No, 
it's just a tiny little dust mite. Dust mites are much more common than bed bugs, and I've magnified this one several thousand times to help calm you down. How was that supposed to help calm him down? There are up to 10 million dust mites inside the average mattress. It's like sleeping in a lovely zoo full of sweet little parasites. What are they doing in there? Oh, they're just having a little snack. On this. Oh, do they eat cornflakes? No, they eat flakes of human skin. What? Yes, dust mites eat your skin. The skin's already fallen off you, though. They're harmless. And this all happens in my bed? Yes, aren't you lucky? And that's not all. There's this in your bed as well. What's that? It's dust mite poo, droppings, turds, mottie chocolate. Up to one-tenth of the weight of a two-year-old pillow will be made up of the dead corpses of dust mites and their poo. I feel a bit sick. <laughs> Never mind dust mites. Can't you just explain to little Howard how small and very rare bed bugs are so we can all go back to sleep? Will do. This is a bed bug. Think of it as a sweet little ladybird who sucks your blood. It does what? Oh, yes. Sorry, didn't I mention? They feed on human blood. They're like little vampire insects that crawl all over you as you sleep. Good night. Don't tell him that! That's it. I am never going to sleep ever again. No. Bed bugs are tiny and they're much rarer than dust mites and it's just like a little tiny mosquito bite. Now, anyone fancy some grindcore? Why do I ever ask you anything? Good night, little Howard. into bed, little Howard. I am not getting in there ever again. It's full of flesh-eating parasols. No, it's parasites. It's full of flesh-eating paras... And anyway, it's not. Just, just, just go to sleep. Good night. Go to sleep. No. I'm warning you. I'm never going to sleep again. Get into bed. But I'm two under par. I've stayed up all night and my eyes feel a little bit funny, but otherwise I'm fine. I don't think that people really need to sleep at all. Well, you kept me up all night as well and I need to sleep. In fact, I'd quite like to go to sleep now, if that's right. But why? Well, because... Because... Oh, I'm too tired to think of an answer. But if you went out on the street and asked anybody out there, they'd give you ten good reasons. Well, let's go and ask them then. That should wake you up. Excuse me, can I, can I ask you a question? Could you tell me, why do you think we have to go to sleep? We need to go to sleep to give our parents a break. To refresh our bodies from exertions of the time we've been awake, I suppose. What I really want to know is, have you got any tips to help me stay awake? Video games, television. Oh. Drink lots of caffeine and you'll be awake forever. Oh, that's a good one. What I really want to know is, can you think of a way that I can trick my friend Little Howard into going to sleep? The best way to go to sleep is to have a song sung to me. Probably reading, listening to music, and maybe counting sheep. Oh. <laughs> why didn't you try counting all the sheep, Little Howard? But why? Well, because uh, the farmer wants to teach them to count so he can enter them in the European map.